Hello everyone and welcome back to Hob while I adjust my microphone to remember what we were doing. I do remember that the start button and the map button are the wrong way round. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd play a bit of Hob. Haven't recorded for a while. Pete doesn't want to play Quake like a loser. So I think we'll just try and figure out what we're doing next. Is there some... <laughs> is there something that tells me how far I'd got? Oh, maybe we were going to go and look at some of these. Should we try and do that? Let's see where our world map will take us. I think is that a teleport thingy, or is that look at all these things that I haven't collected? Should we try and figure them out? I do remember that we found a new area semi recently. Maybe I should have gone back and watched my previous video. <laughs> People do that, I'm sure. Um, where is the place? That there is, so that is a teleporter. This thing in the middle here with the arrow underneath it, that's where we do the upgrades. The thing next to it is a teleporter to the left, so we're going to look for a teleporter. There is one nearby, let's just go this way. Remember which button's which. That is our sprint button, watch out for those things. Hmm, probably not going to find a teleporter there. This way? Ignore these things. I remember doing this for sure. Oh, shizzle. Uh, not the map is there. Okay. That's either a long way around or a short way around. Let's um, jump, climb. No, no. There we go. Oh. Leave me alone, you crazy fiends. Oh, that just takes us back to here. Ow. I just want to go back. And spend my stuff. You know what? You know what? No. I'm just going to press on. Let's make some more game happen. Climb up this faster so that we're not all bored to death forever. Let's make some more game happen. Uh, this way? Nope. This way? This way? And I'm guessing I don't want to jump up there. That sounds like a bad idea. That looks like one of those slidey things we have previously encountered. Maybe just throw okay. it No? Where did I get that from? Uh, I'm a winner. A winner is me. Ah, oh. Well, this is a good start to a new episode. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed the massive hiatus that I have a big habit of doing. I've been to Cornwall. I went camping. Camping is one of those... Many people go, oh, camping, not for me. We like to do this thing that's half, oh, halfway between camping and glamping. Glamping is the practice of nearly camping, where you go to a campsite, but they already have, oh, let's go here, please. They already have some sort of setup. That is a meaningful camera angle, I'm certain. Um, they, they have basically, um, ow. What are you doing? Who's hitting me here? Uh, they, they have huts, essentially, with electricity and not necessarily a television, but to all intents and purposes, it's a small house. Uh, that's glamping. So called because it's how glamorous camping. This hurts! Make it stop happening. Go down here, please. Uh, not quite that. We do take our own tent to some extent. So be in this situation. Try and remember the buttons. Um, not that. Ooh, did you kill you? That would have been nice. Oh yeah, three of those. One, two of those. Three that time, huh? And an extra one for luck. Fair enough. Get it. I'm trying to remember all the buttons, so give me a minute. This one does this. Nice! It's actually what I was hoping to see. But I can do it a second time. Jump. But we have a nice tent. It has a, an atrium of sorts. That's the posh word for uh, an entrance. Literally a hallway, I believe, in, uh, in the original Latinum. Yes. Okay, that was much easier with with 
the extra power of those things. I did have two in a row available to me, but I didn't use it. Those enemies just vanished. That was very glitchy. Um, we had a couple of days of storm, which is no fun for anybody because turns out that one of the things you should do when setting up a tent is pay attention to the prevailing wind of the location you're in. And we were on a cliff. This was very much near Land's End. Go look that up on the map if you're not from around here. By around here, I mean England or anywhere that's heard of it. Can I swim? Doesn't matter. Yes, I can. Grand. Um, Land's End is a very small area, so to speak. By which I mean the north coast and the south coast are only within a few miles of each other, so the end of the country is basically an oversized peninsula. Which means everywhere you go is essentially on a cliff. Um, which means everywhere you go is essentially a lot of wind. And I don't mean bloviating, I mean literal large amount of inclement weather. Inclement? Inclement. Incremented, incremented weather. Um, not much fun when you're in a tent and didn't know about this prevailing wind consideration. The prevailing wind, of course, being the... Oh, really? You let me climb over there and just jump up. Whoa. Um, the prevailing wind being, of course, the wind that prevails in that location. So we managed to pitch our tent at perfect 90 degrees to the... Ah, hello. Gotcha. So the, the, the wind that the storm kicked up. And it didn't half kick it up, I tell you that, for free, Sunshine and Sunny Jim. X. That's this one. I can do that. Yes. Oh, hello. Thank you for moving everything around. So here's us. Well, <laughs> Jen's much better at this than me. She's done it before. But for me, this was kind of a terrifying first experience of the worst way of camping, which is to be in a tent that is trying to turn itself inside out in the middle of the night. Uh, this one? That one. That's interesting. It's a little uh, electric contact. Come back, please. Every morning I got out of the tent. Every morning there were two of, two of these mornings. But each morning I would get out of the tent and reattach the tent to the ground on the side of the main force of the wind. The thrust of the wind, shall we say. <clears throat> so we need to stand in the right place here, which is approximately here. Do we need to step onto that or...? We bought some new tent pegs, because the tent pegs that we had did not keep the tent in the ground. To the point where the tent pegs that we did buy actually would not come out of the ground again at the end of the holiday. So they worked well. A couple of the guy ropes broke because the tent pegs were sharper than the guy ropes could cope with and the wind took it apart. Did I want to do that? What did I... what? Now you're over there. So, so be it. Are you saying follow? Or are you going to attack me? Ooh, let's stop talking about tents for a while and see what this Metroid is going to do to me. I did not like being rescued from that prison. I hope I was supposed to do that, because that was a really cruel thing to do. I've got this little mini dog thing. It was kind of a bit like Midna. A Midna sprite or something like that. Oh, and there's a grown-up Midna up there. Oh, I see. We released this thing from that little purple purple clutch. It's got in Sonic mode now. It's a Sonic slash Banjo-Kazooie sort of a jobby. I can't move, by the way, in case you're wondering. Uh, I think this is just a little, a little bit of panto mine. Oh, oh, oh. Do we have to collect many of them, or are these ones just going to stand on those? Don't make me go around the country looking for this thing's baby. Is that what's going to happen? It's got some weird eyeball stuff going on. I hope we can move now. If I press X now... What did we get? What did you pick up? Oh, oh, I've got a waypoint. And I think I've picked up another piece of sword, which I presume means that next I'm going to be upgrading my sword complete. So you're standing on a thing. There are many other things, but there are many more of you. So are you lot going to stand on here, or am I going to have to go on the sort of a... Sonic Adventure to pick up all the trapped doodars. Watch out, little friends. This stuff hurts. Let's go down here then. We can do it safely. Did you ever play Banjo-Kazooie? 
That's one of those games that the new generation will just not understand. It's one of those games that's sort of a combination of um, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in that uh, it's extremely helpfully very good at... It's a very good game, but it's so old that the graphics... Kids these days are spoiled by graphics. Have I talked about this before? Most most likely I have spoken about this before, but you, I hope, understand my point. <laughs> Kids these days do not know they're born. You know, they, they never played Prince of Persia, the original one, which is just, you know, motion capture and individual rendered frames on a 320 by 240. Ooh. X is here. Um, Banjo Kazooie is one of those classics. Um, I was talking to Adrian. If you're watching, this is all about you. Um, he says it's a, a collect 'em up. <laughs> what a name for a game. What the fuck am I playing right now? If that's a collect 'em up, you know? Get out of it. Get out of it. Woof. Woof. No, I'm like, how? <laughs> how do you want computer games to actually work? I didn't know I could get stuff out of this grass. I'm sure I've been killing this grass since time began. Um, Banjo Kazooie is a collector up because you're supposed to go into each level, run around and collect notes, and then the notes unlock doors in the overworld, which is sort of a, a collection of doors that lead into said levels. And then, oh, I see. I'm guessing I couldn't have broken through that from this side. I'm going to be sad if I could. Um, in order to unlock the next level, in order to collect further things of the same ilk. There's an X here that I didn't get to press. Did we have a pinhead? What? I don't know if I've had the pleasure of having been here. That doesn't look like a nice place to be. Can I get in there? How do I get up here? Let me up! Um, I'm going, what else is a computer game? Ultimately, you know, ultimately a video game is some, some test for you to, you know, pass or fail. Are you going to run at me or what? Come at me, bro. Hold on a minute, I'm thinking. Also, can we talk about the fact that I still have yet to discover a situation in which this lock-on will actually lock on? I'm losing, um... I'm losing... fist energy when I get hit. This is pesky. Our computer games are basically challenges. A series of challenges. This is what this is. This is a series of challenges, except the challenges are somewhat a little bit more tame. Not to use a derogatory word for it, but they're not. You know, they're not extreme. They're not high, high octane, adrenaline rush challenges. You know, they're not. I'm not imminently going to die if I don't keep control of all the things that I'm supposed to be dealing with, like in. Fallout New Vegas in in um, survival mode or anything like that. I think I've been down there, so I'm not going to go down there again. I can't be certain. I mean, that's where we came in. That's where I, get, I remember we we found a heart and stuff like that. Did I find everything around there? A couple of teleporters. What's that dragon? Oh, it's one of those. Ooh. We should probably try and figure out figure that out. Then. Where's me? Okay, let's go this way. Um, and having MacGuffins to collect is no more or less of a valid way of achieving Surely. I mean, is it? Having to collect notes is an arbitrary concept, sure. I, I am down with that. But then, everything is an arbitrary concept. This whole game that we're playing right now is an arbitrary concept. I am just pulling levers and the world is changing in ways that make no sense. There's no predefined order to this universe in which one would expect 
these these pieces to rearrange themselves. I wonder if I have to go back to where. All right. And this is a very explorey game. I, I'm sure you're well aware. So do we? Oh, hello up there. I remember you. We've seen you already. Because it looks like it's up on one of these. You know. But is this the way I came into this place, or is this the way I'm? I think that's the way I came into this uh, place. And I've fallen off anyway, so I'm not going to do that anymore. A collector up. How dismissive. Everything that we ever play is a collector up one way or the other. Is it not? Can I just like jump over here? Nearly. Nearly. Oh, come on. That actually nearly works. I'm tempted to see if it does work. Let's get this over here and then jump. Uh, nearly at it. Be fine. Let's get it on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Full steam. Wait. Nah. I feel like that is the correct thing to do, but I do not have the patience for it, so let's move on. Um, over here somewhere is that little dragon thing, and I think if we get the third level of sword, that's going to be good for us. Uh, is it here? Yes, yeah, so we want to get up onto this tree. Somehow. There was nothing in there. But we didn't explore up here, maybe. Yes, this is right. Ooh, ooh, tree? Yeah, tree. Bandicazoo is a great game because all the actual levels were quite. Um. They, they, they were. Uh, they were imaginative. I really like Click Clock Woods, for example, where each. Gracious hob. This, this game does suffer a little bit from controls, and when I say that, I mean it suffers from. Controls. Um, it has this issue where it doesn't really guide you as to how to do it properly and which direction to be sort of pressing the things. And we've gone such a long way from home. How far we have to go to get back from here? Um, <clears throat> many games when there is a, a situation like this, there is it, it gives you the opportunity to fail, but there's a large sort of dead zone where <clears throat> it will assume that you're pressing the, the control in the right direction. And with the way this is working, it's really difficult to even know if I'm pressing it in the right direction. Capiche? Wait, shouldn't it be like here? Yeah. Is it here? Yeah. Pressed X, I got sword. Give me sword bit. That turned into... Obviously, each piece of sword just turns into the end of the sword. Now what? More sword piece? Do I take this back and get it forged together? I don't know. Don't jump off. Get out of here. Uh, okay, now what? <laughs> Let's go through where those trees were. Banjo Kazooie, man, on the N64. The Nintendo 64. I. There was a period of time where I used to just listen to music while playing games, even though. And I'm sure you're aware of this. The games do have their own music. Isn't that interesting? The games have their own music. So, I would be listening to, like, the Yes album while playing the Ocarina of Time of all games to ignore the music of Ocarina of Time where you are making the music. Schematic man. Speeds energy recovery reduces health. I don't know whether the health I have is worth having because it runs out so fast anyway I might as well have less of it and be able to fight faster. It really depends on how much faster the speeding up of energy recovery actually is. I may have a sneeze. <coughs> See I tried to pause it but the game disagreed as to which button pauses. I see um... Oh it's you. Don't like it. At least he hasn't got a sweeping attack. Those are really annoying. Ah, he got me from behind. What a joke. Gonna lock onto this dude or what? Wish I could move whilst doing that. Quite frankly. Ow. He threw two at me and took two hearts off. What a tosser. How far away is the last thingy? Oh, it's this. 
Right. Nope, that's not run. This is run. Let's have a quick sprint around here and see if we can get back to it before it recharges. I don't know what the rules are on these things regenerating their HP, to be honest with Bam. Poor black Betty. Ram and ram. They're coming back! Right, right, right. I thought they were just infinite things that yeah. Now I've got it. I see them coming back. Don't come back even though he's not. Yeah, okay. I thought they were going to come back even though the thing was dead. Wouldn't put it past this game, huh? Where did the other one go? Is there another one? Or was it just those coming back that was throwing me off? It was just those. Sorry about that. Uh, civilian in the crossfire there. It's okay. I don't think I killed it. I think the axes killed it. I'm going to tell myself that because it makes me feel better. You can't make yourself feel better. Oh, who is this joker? Broke your shield. Lol. Ow. Stabbing me, huh? Not a fan of it. Thank you for... <laughs> when you get these right, they're really, really satisfying and effective. The rest of the time, no idea what I'm doing. What is this machine? You've done what now? Did you see him jump off the edge instead of jumping up? This is where I was some time ago. I don't want to be here. What a... Absolute lunatic. I didn't ask you to jump off the edge. Crazy boy. Boom! Where's my HP? Give me this. See, if I get enough of these, it might be worthwhile sacrificing one of them for some other benefit, like energy recharge. Um, I'm noticing that I don't think I've been here before. <laughs> Ow. I have my shield up, but I think maybe whilst I'm using my uh, sword thingy, it probably doesn't count. I do have a sprint attack, I've just remembered about. Right, if I press that button, then. Run away! Can I, like, sprint and jump? I think so. Oh, that was good. I'm, remem I'm remembering. It's been a while since we played, as noted by me saying it's been a while since we played when we started playing. I'm running around because I don't know where I am. Oh, okay. This is down here. Interesting. We should explore this a little bit more. I think it may have further bounty or booty, depending on the preferences. I am no judge. Looks like no. I mean, I could just respawn. <laughs> but there's no penalty for doing that, as far as I can tell. So we just start up back up here. So. A little bit further away than I expected, but at least we don't have to climb around. Jump down here. Go and actually open that thingy instead of jumping off the edge like a lunatic. You're a loony. I'm going to press the button and you're going to do what you're told. There we go. So this, we are not powerful enough. I guess. Maybe, see these this chain of things here? There's um, a plate on top of here. I'm going to assume that we have to... Either this opens up something that is down there, or we have to connect things up through those in order to get that to actually power up when we press the button. Either way, it's all happening back here. This is where it's at. B there or B square. Back here is in. Out front there is out. Here's a place. Let's do the place. Hello. Oh, I bashed my hand on the table. Very clever indeed. Hmm. More of these things. I'm going to assume that jumping over here being a slightly difficult thing to do is something I'm going to want to have done. Go around here. Uh, you can jump from that to that. 
I'm gonna guess not, but we can try. Oh, but you should be able to because you're hob. Right, all right. Melodrama. Let's just go. Come on. Oy. You see this chap? Oh, I'm dying. Oh, help me. You, you literally have the power. Okay. There is the ability in this game to just die uh, and respawn. So don't give me that with your, oh, woe is me nonsense. Because it's fallen on death. It is. I mean, not, not that it's a listening thing. Roll! There you go. Two of them. Two birds with one energy flash. These ain't birds. You notice them. Right? So I came down here on purpose on account of how going up there seems to be uh, gated for now by the fact that we can't do what I thought we could do. So maybe we're just going back up? Climb. Um, oh no, we're just going back up. Okie dokie. Map then. Nothing on the map of particular specialty. This is not as difficult a jumping puzzle as I've given it credit for being. So that means that this is probably the thing to be doing. I'm just not quite sure how a chap is supposed to achieve this jump. Oh, he did it this time. So that's what I was saying about this uh, game being slightly off when it comes to controls because I would figure that once you got to that point there would be nothing to there would be no reason for the game to prevent you from reaching that that next bit you know can you stop throwing things at me when I'm trying to fight this dude I might just run past this joke right, can, we, can we respond because once you've got all the way around that thing you always have to think about it in maybe like a, a Prince of Persia or Assassin's Creed sort of situation. You're doing this parkour thing, which in and of itself is not the difficult thing. The difficult thing was getting across this bit, basically. Uh, which is not that hard in and of itself, as mentioned. But getting onto this wall is hard. <laughs> Come on now. Getting onto that wall, once you're on it, there shouldn't really be a point at the end of the wall where you have to control Hob in the correct direction. You know, if Hob can jump, he should jump. And if he can't jump, he doesn't. He already doesn't jump if he can't, if there's nowhere to go, you know? So when I tried to jump off of the wall onto the other wall, sort of expected. Hob would only make the jump if he could make the jump. But he decided to just jump into the pits. Which of course is in and of itself. I keep saying in and of itself, which is annoying me. Um, but it is annoying that he jumped into the pit because there was a target. The game should target things. I think that's what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna ignore you. That's alright. Because um, this bastard up here is doing my ever loving nothing. Get out of it. Right, you do yours, and then I'll do mine. There we go. I would like to find another one of these teleporters, which I haven't had the opportunity to... I've got to see those. Ah. I haven't had the opportunity to uh, find a teleporter for a while. And I want to go back and spend some of my hard earned. I do you like breaking their shields? It kind of leaves them a little bit staggering. Although, if I let them hit me, it takes energy away, so shouldn't let them hit me. Whoa! What sort of AI tactics is this? It backs away from me, out of range of my out of range of my attack. Run! I don't want to fight you anymore. You're scary. Give me HP. Grass. Give me rupees. I'm gonna spend them on new swords. Prime top. It's just not quite satisfying enough, the, the controls. They could be. I mean, it's an old game. 
it's not like it's being actively developed on and any whinging on my part is not going to help. Well, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, I see. But, everything else about it is so good. It's almost like a, a letdown. That the... No. That the, um... Did that turn things off? Can I do it again? Yeah, it's like a... Okay. So that's turn all those on. Sweet, let's go back. Is there a shortcut? Yeah, we'll just go down here. We'll have to do it again. So I'd like you to actually drop. There you go. This is hard, was it? Where are we? Oh, there's spikes. It's, uh, come on. That was me. I did that. Everything else about the game is that much better than the... I don't want to say the control scheme, but the, the handling of its... Control. The control schemes is only slightly annoying. Control scheme is only slightly annoying in the fact that the bloody pause button is in the wrong place. But I'll uh, we'll look past this. It does look good. I've always liked this cell shaded, sort of cartoony, outlined effects that they've been doing on 3D things since number 13. That was a good game. It was a uh, first person. What was it? Third person. It was like a, a stealth game where. Because it was in this comic book cartoon style, I'm actually. Uh, by the way, I'm kind of hoping that what I just did is all I have to do. I'm going to come back here and press this button, and it damn well better work because we're at 31 minutes. I am not intending to edit this video. Press X, please. It's this button. Um, because of the comic book themes and style. Oh, mate. Well, I've done everything I can, so. Maybe I missed a bit. I'll go back and have a look in a minute when I'm off camera, but thanks for watching. 13 is a pretty good game. Maybe I'll do a run-through of that. I do like the idea of doing run-throughs of retro games because, you know, we've already done a couple of them. Why not add more? Maybe finish some games that I never actually finished the first time through and see if they're on Steam for cheap. Uh, let me know what you think about that uh, and maybe suggest some games for me to do. Um, in the, in some, some retro games for me to do on that sort of section of the channel, and we'll see see what we end up with. Um, but as for now, that is a thirty odd minute um, video. Apologies for the pause at the start and all the pauses. Whilst I remember how to commentate, I wasn't entirely sure at the start if the thing was even recording, which it was. So thanks for watching this episode, and I'm going to go down here, and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ra!